Hello everyone, Abri here and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are doing another tiny house. This time around we're doing the tiny farmhouse. Um, yeah, so this is still a part of the tiny Newcrest or tiny um, Willow Creek series that I'm doing. So I'm still doing the uh, building Newcrest series where I use all of my own builds. Uh, modern builds and CC as well to create the town of Newcrest, but I am having so much fun with the um, tiny uh, houses or tiny homes stuff pack that came with The Sims 4 that I thought that we would do another one here. So this is still on the street where we did the first tiny house. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go to my channel right now and check it out. Um, here I'm actually, uh, it, it goes a bit fast with the speed because I totally forgot to record the session. I stopped recording because I wanted to go do something and then um, Mass was talking to me and yeah, I totally forgot to record when I went back in, so I had to delete it and press a hundred times on the uh, redo and and then undo button again. So uh, yeah, it went a bit fast there, but I mean, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too much, but this is the tiny farmhouse. I kind of wanted to mix the house styles of the blue suburban, which is a very typical American style of house with these um, American uh, European-esque type of farmhouses but still keep it tiny especially in the inside we're, we're gonna do a lot of modern stuff but still blend it with you know the, the farmhouse stuff that we've come to uh, expect from a house like this uh, so we're working on the exterior work here and I yeah as I said before I had having, I'm having so much fun with this stuff pack and you guys know me, I don't usually get stuff packs because I just don't think that the amount of stuff that you get for the price you pay is worth it. Especially not now that I use CC as well, um, that you can go out and get stuff that is better quality for free. So I was immediately drawn to this stuff pack when I saw it because I think the concept of tiny homes is so amazing and um yeah especially here on the channel i have tried to do tiny homes before without this stuff pack and it's just a lot easier now and you get all of these bonuses on the lot as well when you do a tiny home and uh, so this is a tiny home there's three stages and uh, you can go even smaller than this uh, which is a micro and you can go uh, bigger than this which is a small house so we've built two tiny houses now which is the tier two um, home and uh, yeah it's gonna be uh, a little while before we actually go up to the small house but I do want to create a micro home as well uh, this lot that we're on right now is where the um, pancake family lives and I thought it uh, would be a perfect house for those two people. If you know the Pancake family, uh, they have been in The Sims 4 since the beginning. And I just thought it would be really fun to have uh, them live in a tiny house as well. And we're going to redo the whole street um, with tiny homes uh, also for the people already living here. So that's a great challenge as well to try and get three people to live in a tiny house whereas we only have a couple here so that's fairly easy because we have the murphy beds now which is by the way death traps uh, but we have the murphy beds and that makes it a bit easier to uh, you know blend in a living room with a murphy bed area uh, so for the outside of the place here i wanted to keep it uh, very nice and fresh very naturey Still putting in a lot of self-efficient stuff so we have the farming area we have uh, potters like pot plant areas we have a place where you can um, do some flower binding and we have the beehive so i put in a lot of stuff that you can use on the lot to earn money yourself which i thought was very important for a farmhouse like this uh, having a farm-esque type of area would be very beneficial so that's why we put in there and of course the scarecrow as well you can befriend and he will help you with the gardening and stuff as well so i tried to put in a lot of stuff that your sim can actually use on the lot to earn money and i also wanted to keep the place fairly um yeah i don't know how to say it kind of cute looking um 
with the surrounding area so i put it up on a hill we put in some plants all around and still try to make it look nice and farmhouse-esque but still you know with a kind of little modern-esque twist to it which i do love to do moving into the house here inside we have the kitchen area which is where you walk into the build we have the um bathroom area which is the little room we're working on right here i was trying to test out the, some of the doorways um but keeping with the blue theme inside here uh we're gonna do the bathroom first i thought it would be really nice to have a nice mixture inside of the build here of um kind of like this used farmhouse old school farmhouse style mixed with a bit more of a modern uh, type of thing especially also because the items that came with the um, tiny house stuff pack is actually fairly modern looking um, I would have loved to have a bit more of a variation in the Murphy beds uh, so that maybe we could have like a Murphy bed that is a bit more old school looking and the one that we have now which is a bit more modern so it is actually the same murphy bed there's just different attachments um i would have loved that but again i tried to make it work and i think it actually turned out very cute this house so it's definitely something that i'm proud of and before you start typing in the conversation yes this house is up on the gallery right now yes this house is cc Free, as far as I remember I don't think I used any CC in this build as well and I will try to minimize the amount of CC that I use in my builds in the last tiny house tiny house I built um, the amount of CC I put into that build were only decorative items so it was items that you could fair like have used from the standard game as well I just preferred the way that the CC uh, items looked so that's the only CC items that I used there whereas in my build Newcrest house series um, we use a lot of CC also to create the whole town itself so that's the difference and these tiny houses are gonna be CC free if there is CC it's like only like a little pot plant or something like that to add that little extra character to the picture which I do adore so yeah, CZ free houses is what these tiny builds are going to be all about. We have this little corner here, which I thought would be perfect for a little eating area, like a little eating nook. Um, and I tried to put in a lot of colors in this build as well. So we use a lot of whites and, you know, old school stuff like that. But then I thought, you know, throwing in like this very light blue-ish turquoise color worked so well with the blue uh, color that we have on the wall and I just thought that was really nice um, There is actually an area in here that I don't know what to do with um, I didn't know what to do. So we put in a little area where your sim could sit down by a computer or You know something like that and I thought that worked really well as well I would have loved to go back in looking at it now um, and change it up a bit but you know that's just the way it is here we have the Murphy bed again you can see it is a bit more on the modern side and it actually takes up the same amount of space as a normal bed does which is a bit weird to me I would have thought that it would take up less space seeing that it is a Murphy bed but I guess it has to be pulled down so that makes sense um, but this Murphy bed has a couch on it and I tried to put a couch on the opposite side of it that didn't really work for me so I decided just to go with this the orange color is a very nice contrast to the blue on the walls and then I just tried to put in some stuff that would make it feel a bit more homey because it was turning in to a very modern build um, in the living room here I also wanted to have a carpet just to kind of negate from all of the blue and whites that were everywhere um, but yeah and again the little desk area over here with the computer I thought that was good as well in the corner um, you could have put the dining room area over in this uh, little nook over here that would have worked really well as well but you know maximizing space is what tiny houses is all about and here we have the house itself i really hope you guys like the house and you like the feel of it the look of it if you do um 
think that the house looks cute uh, because I spent time on it and I really enjoy the way that it turned out. So if you enjoy this build, tell me in the comment section down below. If you have any ideas for builds as well that I can do in the future, follow the links in the description down below to all my social media. There is my Twitter page. Um, there is my Discord server as well where I have different channels. You can uh, post in inspiration or just in the chat or in general whatever you like um, but yeah those are the two places to get in touch with me definitely also in the comment section below as well and I believe I have linked to my Instagram uh, below as well which is my personal Instagram so if you would like to see what I'm up to in my day-to-day -day life uh, that is also a good way for you to watch that um, but yeah as we take a look at the last of the pictures here remember you can get this build on the gallery right now just search my origin id which is aubrey or you can follow the link in the description down below i also linked all of the cheats that i've used in this build so you can also use them yourself for your future builds um, those are the two best cheats that i've posted and it's the ones that i'm used the most often so they are all in the link or in the description box down below but as we take a look at the last of the video tour here i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and uh, leave it a big like and subscribe and have a truly fantastic day wherever you are in the world